everyone, my name is Katerina. Welcome back to another video with crafty things I purchased. I think this video is going to be a little bit more interesting because it's not going to be only stamp sets. Actually, there is only one stamp set and it's not even related to card making. I also bought few supplies for planning. I shopped at Crafty Charlie, Amazon and Craftstash. All shops are from the UK. As always, I will have the products listed in the description below, as well as over on my blog. If you are new to this channel and you want to follow me, make sure you click on the subscribe button. And if you fancy, you can also click on the bell button. This way you will be notified every time I upload a video, which doesn't happen too often. I mainly make videos for my blog to make it a little bit more interesting. I am definitely not full blown YouTuber. The reason why I don't upload too often is because I do not have really good stationary place where to put camera. I always have to set it up and uh, also I do not have really good place where I can set up my camera. You are currently on my couch and to make more videos it's good to have good camera set up. But I will stop yapping now and let me show you what I purchased. I will start with Crafty Charlie. This is where I bought most of my planner things. I do not shop at Crafty Charlie too often because I think their prices are a little bit higher compared to other stores where I shop, but you can collect points and use them for next purchase. Crafty Charlie is actually a very good store for all sorts of paper crafting, not just card making, but also scrapbooking and planning. They sell Happy Planner and all the accessories you can buy for a Happy Planner. And they also sell Webster's pages. And that's why I was shopping there. I'm using the Travels Notebooks from Webster's pages. I have this blue cover and I really like it. Uh, I have been using it for over a year. And I decided to change the cover. I had an eye on this turquoise suede uh, cover for a while. It's called Aspen Green Suede. Uh, inside it's golden and it has pockets on the side that are of white or like very light beige color. It comes with one blank notebook and it holds four notebooks. Uh, well, there are four elastic bands. Technically, you can put more notebooks in there because it's a traveler's notebook. After I decided to buy this planner, I looked up a few additional planning things I could use. One of them are these uh, paper clips that are in shape of banner and they are perfectly sized for this planner and hold all the pages very well. The paper clips are from uh, Prima Marketing and another thing I got from Prima Marketing is this set of three washi tapes. These are not the standard size of a normal washi tape, they are slightly thinner and it's called Amelia Rose Pen Pal Decorative Washi Tape. And since I was shopping at Crafty Charlie, I knew they sell WOW embossing powders. For certain things or certain supplies, I like to stick with one brand because of storage. I like to have, uh, for example, with embossing powders, I like to have the same size of jars because otherwise it's for me difficult to store them because I don't have too much of storage space. And wow, embossing powders are really good quality. I really like the metallic colors uh, for embossing powders, not just gold or silver. Last year I got uh, brass and platinum, and now I got the metallic copper. Uh, it's really nice, rich color, and I really can't wait to use it. And also I'm starting thinking about Christmas and the supplies I could use for Christmas cards. So I added two sort of Christmas, it doesn't have to be for Christmas, but sort of Christmassy embossing powders. So first is this one, sparkly purple embossing powder. The name is a velvet. I'm already thinking about buying few stencils using embossing paste and then sparkle this over it. I think it will look very nice. And the other embossing powder I bought is this blue embossing powder also has a little bit of glitter in it and it's called Pacific Wave. So that's all I got at Crafty Charlie. Next, I was shopping at Craftstash. This store is not new to me, but this was the first time I was shopping there. Uh, the reason why was because I really wanted the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. I saw uh, Nina Marie using this in one of her videos a while back, and it reminded me the brand Brasho. 
I really wanted Brasho, but I decided first to get the regular watercolors. Like Brasho, this is a powder that reacts with water, which is like uh, another version of watercolors. And I really wanted Brasho for so long. And when I saw the shimmer powders, I really wanted to get them. And the shop where I found them was a uh, craft stash. So it took me a while actually make the purchase because the color what I wanted was this purple and I could not see there. But I went to Nina's video and I found out that the purple is actually in this bottle. It did not look purple whatsoever on the picture in the store. But when I looked at the name, it's, it's called violet brocade and while i was shopping for the shimmer powders i decided to buy four more first i got the catherine wheel which is a red color then i got this pink called cherry bomb then i got this uh, turquoise color called atlantis burst and last color i got is this blue one called blue blitz and while I was shopping for newer products, I looked for products that I still don't have. And the product I decided to buy is this Nuvo Glimmer Paste. Uh, it's really nice, rich, sparkly color. I remember Christina Werner using it on her card for Christmas. And ever since I wanted to do something similar, I definitely will be buying some stencils this year and will be making few cards, not just with the glimmer paste, also with embossing paste or texture paste and embossing powders because I really like the result. And another item I wanted to try is this Nouveau glue pen. It's in the size medium. I have the Zig 2 way glue pen and I really like it, especially when you're gluing together word die cuts or smaller die cuts and having a glue pen like this is really helpful and it would not be shopping for Nuvo products if I didn't add it into my basket at least one bottle of the Nuvo drops this one uh, is the jewel drops and it's in the color strawberry something that I cannot pronounce <laughs> but I will put it on the screen anyway so that were all the Nuvo products I purchased. And the last thing I bought at Craftstash is this tiny weather stamp set from Waffle Flower. I have um, a travel blog that I'm trying to make happen, but I haven't posted anything there for a year. But eventually I want to write something about Ireland. And I thought I will just follow the weather because people think that in Ireland it rains all the time, which is so not true. It's most of the time gray, but today is super sunny, blue skies and no clouds. Uh, so I want to do that. I haven't started yet, but I probably will start from September or October because I'm going on holidays in September. But I just want to see if there was sunny on the day or cloudy on the day or it was really raining. So that was all I got at Craft Stash, and let me show you now what I got from Amazon. I had two main things I wanted to get on Amazon, and one of them was double-sided tape, the normal double-sided tape, as well as the one with the foam. I do use a roller tape like ATG Gun or a smaller roller tape, but I use them usually for smaller pieces. If I want to glue uh, a panel on a card base or first a fun foam uh, on a panel and then on a card base, I like to use a normal double-sided tape. Usually I like to use this double-sided tape from Sellotape. This one is the thinner one. It's 12 millimeters wide. I would have purchased the one that is 25 millimeters. For some reason, the 25 millimeter wide tape wasn't available to be shipped to Ireland, which is absolutely weird, but uh, it happens uh, currently it's available to be shipped to Ireland. But because I needed tapes uh, that are wider, I searched on Amazon and found these tapes. It's a pack of two. It's from a brand called Globe. Or maybe it's just seller code globe because on the pack says polypostalbags.co.uk. I will have it listed in the description below anyway. It's two rolls for four pounds, which was fantastic because the one roll from seller tape costs four pounds as well. 
but the main adhesive I was looking for was double-sided tape because I ran out. I used to buy my tape at the store called Deals, which is Poundland, which is something like a dollar store. And the tape was really good, but they changed manufacturer and uh, it's quite rubbish now. So I was looking for something that is not too pricey. Uh, I know most of the card makers are using the 3M double-sided scotch tape, uh, but I think it's incredibly expensive. I just looked on Simon's stamp and it cost $55, which is so expensive for something that is an adhesive. So again, I was looking on Amazon for something cheaper and I found this. The scotch tape uh, is 36 yards, which is 33 meters. This one is a little bit thinner, but it's 46 meters, which is over 10 meters more. And it costs uh, 17 pounds, which is, I use the word, which is a lot, but I mean it, which is uh, 20 euro. And I think it is about the same uh, in dollars. I think this is pretty good deal. The brand of this is Stix2, so it should be okay because they make all types of adhesives and it's called Jumbo Roll Double-Sided Foam Tape. The only annoying thing about this, it smells. I'm hoping the smell will eventually go away because it's just horrible. The other thing I wanted to get on Amazon were the brush powders. I saw a few YouTubers using them when I actually started card making, but first I decided to get normal watercolors and uh, coloring pencils. But when I saw the Nouveau Shimmer powders, they reminded me of Brusho and I could not get it out of my head and I had to get them. The pack I bought has 12 colors. I'm not sure if there's a pack uh, that has more or less colors and it comes in these tiny bottles and my plan is to use them on this leaf stamp set that I showed you in my previous haul. I'm planning to make an autumn card where I will be using this brush powders. On my general card making wish list, I have just simple dies for tags. The set I originally wanted is from MFT. I think it contains six dies or seven, but then I was thinking I don't really need six or seven dies. Uh, I only need three, a big, small and medium die. So when I was uh, scrolling down on my Amazon wish list, I stumbled across this die set from Sizzix. I completely forgot about Sizzix. Uh, I haven't purchased from them for a long time and it has exactly what I wanted. It has the big die, medium die and small die, plus a few others as well. And it cost only 13 pounds, which is absolutely great price. And after I put this die set into my shopping basket, I thought, let's look what other things Sizzix has. And I found this circle stitch dies. They not only have this typical dash lines as stitching, but also zigzag pattern. And I thought this was really interesting. I didn't see any other company doing this. And this die set was also 13 pounds. I would have bought other die sets as well, but I decided only stick with those two die sets and maybe next time I will buy other things as well. The other thing on my wish list was this uh, Copic Opaque White, uh, thick white water-based paint for adding final details. I want to make galaxy cards in the near future and to make the stars, you sprinkle white paint across the background. And since I watch Amy from Paper Prairie Inc, who always talks about Copic Opaque White, it was very long time in my shopping basket and finally I got it. I got the one with the brush because it was cheaper. I originally wanted to buy just the pot. And the last thing I bought on Amazon are these containers. I bought them before but I used the box from the Traveler's Notebook uh, as my storage for those containers. And since I bought a new notebook, I have a new box. So I bought a few more containers. Actually, I should have bought three uh, because that's how much fits into the box. Well, again, maybe next time. 
So that's all I purchased. I hope you like this video, especially video like this where I'm talking directly into the camera. I know I'm not good at it. I forget what I want to say all the time. But when I'm editing just the overhead videos, there are occasions where I'm only talking and showing just the desk, which I find very annoying. Uh, often I cut it out completely and the type of videos uh, looking at the camera are just easier to edit as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and check out my blog as well. It's called cherry-b.net where I have way more cards than on this YouTube channel. This is my last video and blog post for about a month uh, because I'm going on holidays. But after that, I probably will be shopping on Seven Hills Crafts because I want to start preparing for Christmas. I know it's summer, but Christmas will be here soon and I want to be prepared. So I hope you will have a great summer and I will see you in my next video. Bye.